The Coalition of the Mockery Workers is a movement of mostly Mexican, Guatemalan, and Haitian farm workers based in Immokalee, Florida, who formed over 20 years ago to transform working conditions in the field. I found out about the CIW as a student. I read an article online about what the CIW is doing, and I thought that it was incredible. And so I called their office, and they put me in touch with people in Rhode Island, where I was living, who then connected me to, uh, to this broad work in support of the CIW. Right now, I am a staff member with the Alliance for Fair Food, so my role is to work with um, the ally movement to the CIW, the group of people around the country who are working in partnership with the CIW, led by farm workers, in order to uh, call on major corporations to work with farm workers to transform conditions in the field. The Fair Food Program is a partnership between growers, farm workers, and corporations, and it works to um, together enforce a program that eliminates human rights abuses in the field. So eliminates uh, sexual harassment, eliminates wage theft, eliminates modern day slavery, and also works to increase workers' wages through a penny per pound premium that corporations pay into the fair food program, and that is then um, distributed out to workers uh, in the form of a bonus on their checks. And so um, this works through corporations agreeing to concentrate purchasing on farms that are part of this program and that are respecting farm workers' human rights. And conversely, um, if a farm refuses to uh, correct an abuse, then that corporation will move purchasing away from that farm to a, a farm that is, and so there's market enforcement of this, of this program. The Code of Conduct was developed by farm workers to delineate exactly what farm workers' rights are in the field under the Fair Food Program. So it includes provisions around access to shade and water and bathrooms, in the field, uh, freedom from sexual harassment, freedom from modern day slavery, and also the right to form a health and safety committee, the right to punch in and out at the end of the day and to be paid for all of the hours that one works, the right to minimum wage, and various other rights that farm workers are now experiencing under the Fair Food Program. Fair food means to me uh, the connection between farm workers and consumers, and it means to me that food connects us and our the matter of our being connects us, and that we are we need to be accountable to one another, and we need to continue to work so that we live in a more just reality where we're all respected and treated as human beings. I think that workers and everyone deserves the right to um, to determine just living conditions for themselves. And farm workers have have decided that they are calling for this penny per pound premium in order to raise their wages um, out of poverty towards a just and living wage, and are hoping to increase that further to to further um, raise the standard of living of farm workers. Public has said that what the CW is asking for is a labor dispute and they don't get involved in labor disputes in their supply chain. But what the CW sees this as is not a labor dispute, but actually a partnership between corporations and growers and farm workers, and one that's worked with 14 major corporations and one that could work with publics too. Um, and so this isn't isn't a dispute. It could be a partnership. It could be 
it could start with a dialogue. Okay. Wendy's is the final major fast food corporation to refuse to join the fair food program. They've also been refusing to join that program for three years of a public campaign and also 11 years since the CAW first sent a letter to them to invite them to be part of this. So not only are they the only major fast food corporation to not be part of it, but they're also actually profiting from the fact that they're exploiting, that, that workers in their, their supply chain are exploited because they're not paying that penny more per pound, but all of their competitors are. And they also recently moved their purchasing of tomatoes to Mexico and to other states where the fair food program is not present. And we know that human rights abuses are much more common. In fact, they're buying from a farm in Mexico called Bioparques where there was a case of forced labor where hundreds of workers were enslaved um, just in 2013. And so that's why this campaign with Wendy's and the boycott of Wendy's is so crucial for this moment. This matters because it has to do with the food that we all eat every day. And it matters because that food and again, who we are as people connects us to one another. And it's something that we can all participate in and all take action in order to be part of changing. You can do it, I can do it, everyone can be part of changing these conditions in the field from injustice to justice. And we can do that by following the leadership of farm workers who know their reality best and who are then working to change it.